Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The MK Lady. Well, it's Friday, thank God we made the work week and it's the weekend. I don't have any real big plans for the weekend. I'm gonna turn this up. Any plans except I actually wanna try and take out my whole collection, even my collection out of storage. I wanna see what I have, what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of, and just kind of go through everything, clean off all my shelves, see what I use, what I don't use, and hopefully it'll be a big clear out for me because I wanna start getting ready for spring. Now I know it's only just uh, the beginning of winter for my country, but it just is, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like spring cleaning for already for some reason, I'm, I'm not even sure why. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I wanted to talk to you about the outfit of the day, which is a plain outfit, but it's the color that actually counts in this outfit. So I wanted to show you these beautiful Hilberg and Burke earrings. So I am wearing a turquoise color shirt I got last year from Ricky's. But I wanted to show you the purse of the day. So this is the retro style Whitney in the color gray, black, and turquoise. And actually, I decided today I'm giving this one to my friends. So this is actually a goodbye video to the beautiful Whitney in the retro style. Now, she always loves my entire collection so this one is going to her and she's always purchasing mks for me and you know liking my posts and whatnot and you know what i said do you like this purse do you want this purse she said yeah for sure and i said okay it's yours so it is actually a goodbye to the Whitney. It does have the silver tone hardware. It's a larger style purse. It does have the top handle, which I really, really like. And it does have the long adjustable strap with the two adjustments on each side. And stand up for this. Has a big, huge back pocket, which is the length and the width and the height, uh, almost the height of the purse. So it does have this really nice, cool stitching on it. It does have the wing side gussets, which are super pretty. And then of course the push lock pyramid hardware. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. I mean, not this video, this purse. So here it is, here is the tag. The Michael Kors Whitney regular 428 large satchel in lux teal and charcoal. So it does have a slip pocket here. Sorry, a zip pocket, slip pocket, slip pocket. And then as you can see, it's actually quite big and generous. So I just have my some things on there. Wallet and makeup bag. And there is so much room. There's also a key fob holder, as you could see right there. So it's quite a large, large purse. You can fit so much in there. I do like the style, but I don't know if you could see back in this corner right here. I do have some teal color bags there. So I thought, you know what, because I do have uh, the Coach Prairie, in the turquoise tealy color and also this beauty this beauty of a coach tabby and oh this one is just a beauty as well the michael kors selma but what you don't see and i have it at the top of my shelf is this snake skin in lux teal so I mean, that's a Mercer accordion tote. I don't need all the teal colors here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this 
Mercer snakeskin tote as well. So she will be getting this one and I have this teal and it's a beautiful, beautiful Mercer snakeskin tote and I can make room. So I'll just show you what it looks like in terms of reference on my body. So just on the shoulder, it's a nice size. It's the large size. So on the side, on the crook, or sorry, not on the crook. You could put it crossbody, but it's super large. And then on the crook of my arm, that looks gorgeous as well. And then just as a handheld, just like that. So that is the Michael Kors Whitney Large Retro. Isn't it just gorgeous? It's, it's a gorgeous person. I'm happy for her. So she will be getting to enjoy this one. I also wanted to give you guys, yes, another sneak peek at the Coach Melody bag. I did the unboxing for this one yesterday. And I do like this poofy material. It kind of, I know I could, you know, probably sell a few of these and get a Chanel or a Louis Vuitton or Coach. And actually, I was asked that question. Why don't I look into other luxury brands like Louis Vuitton, Coach, and all, I'm not Coach, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, all those, but I like Michael Kors and I like Coach and they're more affordable and I like to change my purse out every day. Now, I did have a Louis, Louis Vuitton before, but I just never used it. I actually had it for like a month and then sold it to my friend because I was like, I, I, I don't know, I, I just didn't want to take it out and it was the monogram and I don't know, I, I just really like Coach and Michael Kors and Kate Spade. I have seen some Dooney and Burke too that I really do like, but they're not really around my area. Tory Burch is also nice as well, um, but they're not really around my area. The most purses around my area are Coach and Michael Kors. So that is why I'm sticking to Coach and Michael Kors. And that's also why I started this channel. So that is all I have for you today. And the Michael Kors, Whitney, goodbye. It's kind of sad. I mean, I really do love this purse, but as you can see, I'm just gonna thin out my collection this week and I'm gonna go through the whole collection and see what needs to go, what can stay, and what I'm still loving. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, The MK Lady. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell because every time I upload a video, you will get notified. Have a great day. Bye.